If your company happens to use both opportunities and revenue line items, the opportunity creation process is going to look slightly different. Let's go ahead and create an opportunity with some associated revenue line items. I'm going to create a new opportunity by clicking on the action menu and selecting create opportunity. We're going to name our opportunity. I'll also associate it to the account. You'll see that expected close date, likely, best, worst, and sales stage are all read only. And that's because you'll see that we've got the revenue line item fields here. These are all going to be populated based on what we enter for revenue line items. To populate your revenue line item, you're going to go to the product catalog dashlet on the right hand side. I know that these individuals are going to be buying laptops and we're going to pick the TK1000 desktop. You'll see the nice thing here as you use revenue line items and or you favorite any of your products, you're able to easily toggle this dashlet here to select items that you use frequently. I'm gonna click on TK1000 desktop and you'll see based on clicking on that product, the revenue line item updated. Here I can change the sales stage, whether or not I want to include or exclude this from my forecast. We need to populate an expected close date for this line item. Say this is expected to close on April 9th. And we're also going to update the quantity. Let's say that they're gonna be buying 100 laptops here for their sales team. We'll go ahead and update our likely amount. All right, we're going to add an additional line item for the marketing laptops. You can either click the plus sign icon here or you can just select the product that that revenue line item is going to include. So I'm gonna click on the TKM30. It's going to add that line item for me. We're going to include this in our forecast as well. And this is actually expected to close a little bit later. And we'll update this to, they're gonna be buying 50. We'll update our likely to and then at this point, I've got my revenue line items populated and I'm going to go ahead and save this opportunity. I'll get the success message letting me know that that opportunity has been saved. I'm gonna click into it and I can see here that we've got our opportunity that's been created. It has the expected close date populated based on the revenue line item that is last to close within this opportunity. And then I'm able to see the likely and best case scenarios and the sales stage. Now, as I go through the sales process with underwater mining, I'm able to update these revenue line items independently. For instance, let's say that the marketing laptops are actually gonna be closing a little bit sooner. I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. Let's say that this got bumped up to the 16th instead of the 30th. I'll then go ahead and save this and we'll see that that change is then reflected on the opportunity expected close date. And that's an example of how you can create an opportunity with corresponding revenue line items.